Welcome everyone to our gaming corner here at PAX West. I'm here with Evil Genius's professional PUBG player, Wolf. We're here to talk about PUBG. So let's talk. What in PUBG so far has been your favorite update? My favorite update was definitely 1.0. It's the one with the, they added Miramar, they changed the weapon ballistics, new grips, new everything, optimization, they're like, it changed the game for like a good way, and it's been up from there for sure. What's the most important grip you can put on an M4? Vertical. Why the vertical? Um, there's actually like a hidden, it's not hidden, it says it in the tooltip and no one understands what it means. It says weapon stability after shot, which means that your second bullet will always be, will recoil to the identical spot of your first bullet. So if you tap, like, or spray, you'll always have better accuracy for your first few shots than every other grip. You might get a RNG horizontal like recoil and miss your second bullet. But if you use a vertical or lightweight grip, that'll never happen. Good good feedback. So those are the two best grips in the game. <laughs> Perfect. PUBG just did their hashtag fix PUBG. What is the fix you want to see most out of PUBG? Right now, just performance. Uh, the desync, obviously, they need to they said that the tick rate gets down to 9 in early game, and they want to have it 30 across the whole game, so that's huge. And then I think one of the biggest problems right now since they added limb penetration in the game is uh, the vests need a buff to durability. Because you might notice right now if you take a fight, your vest will be gone, and then you'll go loot every body of people you killed, and they won't have vests either. So vests definitely need like a 2 times durability buff since limb penetration was added. With all of the weapons in the game, that they've added, especially recently. What's your favorite weapon that says, th th if Wolf gets this, no one's alive? Om. Yeah. For sure. Om or M249, those are my two favorites. Most people in PUBG don't pick up flashbangs. Can you explain why the viability of a flashbang is important, especially in pickup games? So flashbangs weigh significantly less than any other grenade. So you can carry like three flashbangs per one frag grenade. Um, they still need to be buffed a little bit, but say you're in an end game situation and you know someone's proning on a ridge or something, or someone's in a shack or behind a shack, flashbangs make that push safe. Whereas somebody proning can easily 1v2 if you have a flashbang and you throw it over and it, even if it doesn't blind them, if it just has the sound effect that it has, could be everything to like killing the last person or killing someone in a push. What's your favorite in-game costume? I really like the Chinese t-shirts that aren't available. So every time I play on the like event servers and I have access to all the clothes, I always wear it. That's awesome. Because I'll never be able to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any uh, PUBG superstitions? Like I have to wear this certain clothing or I have to drop in this specific spot? I always have to carry a revolver if okay. I find it, suppressed if possible. Have you ever killed anybody with a suppressed revolver? Not in competitive games, but I love just shooting at people with it and just watching them be really confused, especially my teammates. What would be, to some of the newer players out there or players who are trying to get better, what's the best way that they can improve their aim and or even looting? So. Right now, you, since anybody's able to make custom games, just like make a custom game, put like a 20 player limit on it, put really slow circles, turn all your loot up to max, go out somewhere to loot, find like a, a sign or a window or something and just like start spraying at it, practice flicking to it. I mean, you can practice looting that way too. You obviously maybe just like play on a higher DPI with a lower end game sensitivity helps with looting. That's something I do so you can swipe faster. But yeah, as far as practicing aim, that's a good way to do it. Go like just go make a custom game, turn everything to max, and go hide in the corner of the map shooting at stuff. <laughs> Have you tried out our new CQB mode? Yeah. Okay, what did you think of that mode for the Oris Open? So we have a tournament going on here very shortly. $25,000 on the line when they, if they win in France. What are your thoughts? I think it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's It makes the games really short, which is fun, because PUBG games are pretty long, like Angle and Miramar, are 35 to 37 minutes, and Sandhawk's more like 25 minutes, and these are what, 15 or so? Mm -hmm. It's super fun. With like a, a couple little tweaks, it could definitely be like a super fun like training game mode, or just like fun with your friends game mode. 
Absolutely. Kind of removes that mid-game lull that yeah, everybody in competitive that doesn't... 20 minutes of nothing. Yeah. Exactly. What, what are some, you know, thinking about that mode, what are some things you think, some adjustments that could be made that could make it much more fun? More players, higher, higher loot, and a longer res timer. Very cool. Okay. Well, that's all we've got here at the gaming corner here at PAX West. This is Wolf. Wolf, where can people find you on social media? Um, all of my social media is Wolf with a one instead of an L underscore GG. Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, everything. Perfect. You've heard it awesome. here. See you guys next time.